Now, do you believe in magic? Well, some children in Lambeth do, after a pioneering programme to help them overcome their disabilities. Researchers found that some of the hand movements used by magicians in their tricks can be used as a form of physiotherapy. The magic is now being used to improve the lives of young people with mobility problems. Rhea Chatterjee went to see some Hocus Pocus in action. Traditionally, members of the magic circle aren't allowed to give away their secrets. But for 10 days, this quiet backstreet conjurer's club is opening its doors to children who find everyday activities like dressing or cutting up food extremely difficult. Nine-year-old Angel used to struggle lifting her hand to her face. We know she can lift her hand, but actually bring it closer to her face, her nose, her eyes, touch her hair. Unbelievable. And that was three days of being here at the Brief campaign. I'm like, wow, I've seen the result, you know. It's like, and she's actually got better with it. I mean, tying like shoelaces. Never thought that she could ever do that. Now, just remember that distance, OK? Hemiplegia is a neurological condition that results in a weakness or complete loss of function on one side of the body. The Breathe Magic Camp allows children to learn magic tricks whilst incorporating therapeutic exercises. So we knew that they needed pinching action, so we would choose magic tricks that require you to pinch or a turning action or to open the hands, so that actually the motivation to practice comes from the children, because the, the magic is like the hook so instead of saying you've got to do this 20 times in a row, they're running upstairs to their rooms at home, shutting their door, and they're in there for an hour, you know. And so they're generating their own therapy, which is the beauty of it. Throughout the day, the children are encouraged to put their newly learned skills into more everyday activities. The therapy has now been commissioned by NHS Lambeth, meaning there'll be more funding and more children involved in the scheme. We found that children prior to coming to the camps can use their weaker infected hand in approximately 25% of two-handed activities, so things such as brushing your teeth. Ten days later, they're able to use it in 93% of two-handed activities. So we're seeing a really big impact. And as if by magic, the simple things become a whole lot easier. Rhea Chatterjee, ITV News, Euston. And that is all from the London team. We're back with the latest after ITV News at 10.